In this short tutorial I will demonstrate how to export a RBD simulation from Houdini to import it into Unreal Engine 5. I start with a geometry node and go inside. For this demonstration I use the rubber toy test geometry. With the right mouse button I open the type property window. From the extra files tab I export the diffuse texture file into my project folder. We will need it for creating the material later in Unreal Engine. The scene file goes to the same directory. To break the rubber toy we can use the material fracture node. Now we need a bullet solver to add physics. We see that gravity is applied. For shattering the object we need to add a collider. The easiest way is to activate the ground plane in the bullet solver. Let's move him up a bit. Not all pieces fall apart. Let's go to the Material Fracture node and under the Constraints tab lower the strength. Nice. With the Exploded View node we can see the interior faces. Let's create a Material node. And a Material Network. Inside I add a principled shader and rename it. Back in the material node I choose the inside group and apply the newly created material. This will then export it as a separate material set. To make the fracture look better we can add some detail to the interior faces and edges. This one can be removed. Still works. To export the animated pieces as FBX we need a file hierarchy. Let's add an assemble node and insert it here. Activate create packed primitives and the path attribute. Let's cut a third wire for the proxy geometry with the Y key. Now let's add a transform node. For exporting to Unreal we need to scale everything by 100. The last thing in the chain is the ROP FBX output node. Let's reduce the frame range a bit and select it here. Activate Build Hierarchy. This is essential to export the animation. I rename the output file. And save to disk. Let's check the result. I'm using FBX Review on my Mac. On Windows you can use also the built-in 3D viewer. Now let's switch to Unreal Engine 5 and import the FBX as well as the texture file. In the import options we need to make sure that skeletal mesh is selected. Import normals and tangents, and the animation length should be set to exported time. Open the imported material. Drag the rubber toy texture file to the canvas. Connect it to the base color slot. And save. Let's see if the animation is imported. Looks good. Then we can drag it into the level. Zero out the position. And play. Thanks for watching.